Well, it's heating up outside and a great way to stay cool and as smart as ever is to find that refreshing read. So here to share her riveting ah. recommendations. And of course, those are reading recommendations from the one and only independent bookstore at Neptune Beach. Rona Brimley, great to be with it's you. And of course, the big owner of intro Pokemon. and a lot of R's there. I, I mean. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you deserve it because Thank we, you. everybody has so much fun when they come by your bookstore. They'll they'll hit the beach like they did this weekend. They'll come by and see all these cool books. That's great. And you've got quite a selection this time around for our. For our Always, it's yes. you know, it's like Christmas every day at the bookstore. If something new comes in, I just finished this one and this was great. No two persons. Erica Baumeister is one of those authors who has writes well, has great characters, and mm -hmm. they're not depressing. It's a hard combination to come up with. Okay. No Two Persons is really about reading. No two persons read the same book the same way. We all take something different because it so depends true. on what we bring to well, it. Like if we were looking at a rainbow right now, I would see a different rainbow than you. You know that. Absolutely. Okay. We would see so, so, totally different things. So same and thing with so, books? So I haven't heard that with books. Same thing. All so right. this is seven to ten people reading the same book and each one is affected in a different way. That's cool. So okay. it's way cool. It is about books. And the silver alert. We silver, all know what a silver well, alert yeah, is. You know, it's when alert. our old folks, you know, um, mm. go missing and they put out yeah. a silver alert. And in this one, Herb, he's 83 and his wife has much younger, has early onset dementia and she has a manicurist slash therapist. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> Herb and the therapist get into his yellow portion. They just take off on a road trip to um, the Keys in Florida. All right. And so they put out a silver alert. Just a nice impromptu trip that should be interesting to read about. That's right, by a great author, Lee Smith. She's a great Appalachian storyteller, so right. perfect. This one will fill some time up. That's can, a heavy doorstop. Oh, this is big. Oh, it's heavy. So but is it worth the read? I it mean, is the worth Covenant the read. Covenant of Water, okay. Abraham Vergesi wrote um, Cutting for Stone, and it's been almost 15 years we've been reading for his next novel. He is a medical doctor, huh. so he has all this wonderful medical detail in there that actually is fascinating to read Ooh, about. It's in Mrs. India, it looks like. Too. It is. It's a 70 year family saga in India, and water plays an important role because every generation suffers somebody drowns, and so that's an important part of the book. Mm -hmm. But no, it's worth all 700 plus pages. Very you don't good. want to okay. miss one. So, isn't that fun when that happens? And this one is also a great Secret. southern storyteller The Secret Book of Flora Lee. This is two young girls who were evacuated from London during the Blitz, and they go to the countryside and the, they make up this imaginary world, and the little five year old disappears. And 20 years later, the older one gets a book that talks about this imaginary world that they created. And she's like, how did somebody know about this? Is my sister still alive when she needs to go see if she can find her? Okay, very nice. Icelandic murder mystery, <laughs> great, because right. it'll keep you cool in the hot summer. That's right, we're uh, talking about staying cool with refreshing reads. So the girl by the bridge, and it takes place in Iceland. It takes we're place in of, Reykjavik, a lot yes. Of like going to Reykjavik, they tell me. I haven't been there yet, but I need it, to go. It's, it's worth going yeah. to, I think. I spent one day, but um, this is a missing teenage girl. Her grandparents um, report her missing, and they hire um, a detective who's retired. He's got his own ghosts. There are ghosts in the story, and Ooh. it's how all these things come together in the end. It's this wonderful, intricate plot that all weaves together and comes together in the end. I love when an author can pull that off. Yeah, that's going to be great read. Okay, and then we got some nonfiction. Two you know, non like nonfictions. Um, the Wager, uh, best-selling author, and his. This is a story in the 1740s of an English ship chasing a Spanish galleon, and there's a shipwreck, and two parts of the crew get separated, and they tell different stories, and each accuses the other of mutiny. All right. And so you have this adventure at sea, a shipwreck, and then a trial about who's telling the truth. Ooh, okay. And it's all true, so you can't make this I stuff up. I love it. I love it. And then His Majesty's. Airship. This is almost 200 yeah. years later, but it's another disaster. It's the 1930s, and it's the hubris of thinking we can put this huge airship, a dirigible, in the air with very little planning because they were in a hurry and they didn't want to do everything they mm -hmm. needed to do, and it doesn't end well. I think I, yes, <laughs> it doesn't end well. All right. Dirigibles tend to not and well a lot of times but so two you know different disasters of two different modes of transportation and both that we know very little about so it's kind of interesting to read nonfiction that reads like Always. a, I love a thriller yes yeah. that's, that's and, right and you've got a special guest coming we have two special guests oh, it's a two. twofer so we're calling it you know um, a southern event we mm -hmm. have um, Karen White who's a great southern storyteller she's got a character whose house is haunted by ghosts Okay. And whose life is haunted by ghosts and a bad boyfriend, and she needs to decide what to do about. Right. And then um, Maria Bostwick, who stories about a woman, Esme Cahill, whose life is completely falling apart, but her grandmother calls her back to Asheville to re 
do the family home and in the attic she defines all of her grandma's quilts and it's a search for her family's history wow. and people find a good life so great reading and something for everyone everybody's idea of a beach read is different but there's something in here for everybody yeah you always come through thank you That's i appreciate it riveting reading always love and alliterative <laughs> yeah always love having you on the show and of course for much more on these wonderful choices also wait before i forget uh for folks heading to neptune beach there's a beautiful mural you can also see oh, outside the that's bookstore. right at the back of a bookstore sean bono is a great muralist he's painting a sea steam come see it and um see the work in progress i love having that art on the back of our building so thank you there for you mentioning go. that all right i'm going to check it out and Good. of course you need to check out our website for more on these wonderful books and rona in the bookstore uh, we've got firstcoastliving.net